Small Cherie's hair, and today in this video, we are doing a wig with Wow African, one of my personal faves. You guys all know that. But before we go started, in before we go started, before we get started into this video, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you click that notification bell so that you never miss a video from me. Um, today in this video, I wanted to do a very detailed video on how to wear your wigs when you go to the gym. We are all trying to gear up and get that body back in shape or get it in shape, period. And I honestly feel like it's so important to do a video like this because, not gonna lie, I low-key struggle with it because it's kind of uncomfortable and annoying to wear a wig. However, it's even more uncomfortable and annoying to wear a wig when you are wearing a wig that has glue, spray, or gel on it. So, get your Wild African unit. And this is actually a 16-inch. Look at it up close. Oh, I love that they bleach my knots for me and I love that it's pre-plucked. However, I'm still gonna do my own plucking because I like to customize my own units to my liking. So, And then you can see inside we have good quality customized headband. In the back we have our lace, beautiful, deep, six inch parting. Oh, this is a really snug one. Now for me, I'm gonna cut this. I mean, <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm gonna pluck this lace. Okay, so we have our wig nice and plucked. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just cut the lace off by the ears. If you guys do not know how to do this, like I always tell you guys, I have a video on it. I have several videos on it, but my most recent one, I will link to this video or show you it right here. Another thing you will need is you will need a headband. I recommend having a headband on your wigs, especially when it comes to the gym, because you just don't want your wig flying off when you're doing like, you know, sit-ups or something. You want it to be nice and firm and staying in place. So I have my hot comb ready, nice and hot. I love this hair, actually, this is so cute. Yeah, I have my hot comb ready, nice and hot, and we're gonna use this to just kind of comb the hair back, not fully throughout the hair but going through the hair so that it's nice and uniformed and pressed back the way it should be. point in time now we're gonna go into keeping it steady and firm on our heads and one thing I like to utilize is the combs that come on the wig cap because I feel like the combs help to keep the wig also from sliding back and in place now when you're doing this don't stick it in too hard because you don't want it to be uncomfortable you don't want to get a headache and you also just don't want tension on your hair so stick it in where it naturally goes into your braid or into your ponytail however you have your hair underneath your wig So now we have two forms of security. We have the headband. Well, we actually, we have, technically we have three forms of security. We have the adjustable parts in the back of your wig that already comes onto your wig cap. We have the headband, and then we have the combs into our braid. My best friend is hairpins. This is how I do all my wigs glueless. This is how I um, am able to take my wigs off at night. It's just so much more easier for me and I love, 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 love hairpins when it comes to wigs. Now, I do want to make clear to you guys, I've been doing this method with the hairpins for years, okay, and even more the last couple of months. You will not be ruining your lace. You will not get a hole in your lace. You will not rip your lace, okay? If you poke hairpins into your wig the correct way. Now, if you're just gonna poke it in like this and go like that, then yeah, you're gonna rip your lace. But if you do it nice, poke it in, and I like to just twist it and go up, it's keeping the wig in place and nice and firm, okay? I get these hairpins from Amazon. I get like 200 for like less than $10, and they're so firm and sturdy. And if So get your hairpin. And you see how it's like this? We're going to kind of bend it up and push that all the way in. So you can see it should look like that. Okay? So that's only one. You're going to pull that in. It might look a little wavy. We'll fix that. Don't worry. 
pull your lace up make sure it's on your hairline and we're gonna go back a little bit further so not right here but like maybe like right here and you're gonna poke it in you should feel it like grasping your braid but not it not feeling uncomfortable and not being tight I'm not gonna even go far 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 back so I'm gonna go as close as possible to the middle part like right here okay so we have three on this side now let's go ahead and do this side my wig is on okay this ain't coming off no time soon like it's on this is this is stuck on okay comb out any baby hairs you might want to take out I need to make a huge beauty supply store run or whatever you want to call it because I don't got no more products like both of my things is empty <laughs> so I'm gonna have to experiment with this and some studying and some gel Woo! this gel did the job baby that looks so good okay this is the one I use by the way and I use these for my ponytails when I'm doing like, you know, gel ponytails, um, heatless. So <laughs> I think I have a new product now <laughs> besides my setting foam. I, I honestly, I like it like this, <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys how I do a style with it still so that you guys can still see, um, you know, how I do this. Then there's these like two long pieces right here. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just. Cute! Now, for my non makeup wearers, for those who hate when put, putting makeup on their wigs, let's get this part. Don't do it, okay? <laughs> Absolutely ignore it. Now, for those that like to do it, just to brighten up the part, aka me I'm gonna go ahead and get some foundation and just put it on my parts and kind of just like create some more defined lines right here So this video is completely finished. This is how I would wear my wi my wig, <laughs> my wig to the gym. It's super easy, super simple install. And the best part about this all is I can literally take this right off my head when I come home and just relax. Now when I go to the gym, I'm gonna go exactly like this. Like I have my t-shirt on right now. Well, <laughs> minus the makeup, but I'm gonna go exactly like this with my hair and go straight to the gym. Super easy and it's super comfortable. It feels amazing actually. I can feel that it's nice and secure so even if I were to jump up and down a million times she is not moving okay keep watching for the me to see me at the gym so what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna check and see how my hair looks but I think I'm gonna actually wear a scarf around my edges so let's see how this the edges stay down in place all right, I'm gonna actually just go with the scarf on. So I'm gonna fold it down into a rectangle. Yeah, watch it. Did you watch it? It's like. All right, I hate hair on my neck when I work out. Um, I'm just gonna pin this up. <laughs> 